Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am in lockdown. This is the fourth week of the lockdown. And um, well, I don't know how long this is going to last, uh, but I decided uh, why not do a little video on how to survive the lockdown. I mean, obviously some people react differently to the lockdown. Different people have different reactions. I find it absolutely fascinating. There is a general tendency of people kind of like going into their cocoon and kind of like contracting their life instead of you know using this opportunity as a way to expand so i wanted to talk to you about that and help you kind of survive this lockdown and stay sane and positive you know about the future about the outcome of things so here we go i'm going to talk to you about three main points the first point that i really want to talk about is being kind to yourself so please guys be kind to yourself don't compare your lockdown to everybody else's lockdown out there on social media don't uh, beat yourself up because you haven't uh, gotten a six pack yet don't beat yourself up because you haven't created 30 videos for your youtube channel don't beat yourself up because you haven't done a whole spring cleaning of your house like I see a lot of people out there trying to stay um, motivated and trying to stay performant and trying to stay busy during the lockdown and that's awesome but I need to point out that not everyone is like that and some of us need a little bit more time to process what's happening so please be gentle with yourself be kind to yourself be patient with yourself you know don't rush into whatever something um, just because everybody else is, is doing it. It's really important that you acknowledge how you feel. At the beginning of this lockdown, uh, there was a lot of fear for me. Obviously, I'm trained, um, so I have the tools and you know I have a certain level of control and mastery over myself, um, but I appreciate that that's not how uh, everybody else uh, is able to deal with themselves especially when they're alone really acknowledge how you feel about this lockdown yeah for some people it's gonna be fear uh, for other people it's gonna be absolute denial yeah which also comes from fear by the way um, for others it's going to be depression others are just gonna get angry at the government at people at everything for some of us it's the first time that we're going through something like this in our lives i know it's my first time um you know for our grandparents it reminds them of war but we're not at war or are we like i don't know you know there's so many things that we don't know about this whole coronavirus um so many conspiracy theories so much information that comes to us sit down with how you feel take a piece of paper take a notebook you know and just write down what are your thoughts what are your feelings about this lockdown and and there's nothing for you to do with these thoughts and feelings it's just for you to observe them and be really honest about how it is that you feel you need to be able to feel and think and observe your thoughts and feelings without uh, actually taking the action yeah because some of that action is just a compensating action and is not doing anything good to you you're allowed to feel whatever you feel there's nothing wrong with that yeah um but please don't go and beat beat someone up <laughs> you know because you're angry or whatever um you know just be with your feeling that is like that's so important that's one of the main things that i that i teach uh in coaching give yourself time you know it, you know, if you don't do a whole spring cleaning the first week of lockdown, it's fine. Like, it's totally okay. Some of us need more time to digest what's happening. This is a very important event in everybody's life. Um, and so it's only fair that you give yourself the time and space to deal with it, to process it, to digest it. My second point is this is a great time to reassess your life yeah we have been forced to stay indoors and sit with our own selves or even sit with our own selves plus some of our family members or maybe your partner 
yeah and this has given us time and space to really experience ourselves and others if we live with others in a very different way there are no more distractions because all of these distractions have disappeared you know like going to work two hours of commute per day events going to meet friends having a beer whatever going to the movies going shopping um, we have been giving given this time and space um, to be with ourselves and reassess how we have been living life it's funny how now that we're stuck inside you know the list of our priorities have become very very different um, you know my priority has gone from having my morning coffee every day uh, on my way to work to having enough toilet paper so i can survive yeah and i and i appreciate that there will be some uh, um, more serious example maybe you're living with your partner and it's not going well at all and it wasn't going well before but you had all these distractions to make you forget about it yeah and not address the issue well now you're stuck inside with this person and you know and you can't run away you have to deal with it um, and so this time and space that we've been having has really um, made us think about what's really important in our life like this is a great time for you to reassess your priorities, to reassess your life, to reassess where you're going, what you're creating, what is it that you truly want to do. I can tell you now that my morning cappuccino on my way to work is definitely not a priority anymore. It has been replaced with more important things. And obviously these things will be different from person to person, duh. I think you get the point. Priorities have changed and we are reassessing how we were living our lives. Right now, family, shelter, food and health are super, super important. High up in people's priorities, yeah? Because they're staying with their family or maybe they're not staying with their family. I have family all around the world and it's in these situations that I tell myself, whoa, like this is a little bit scary because I'm not allowed to get out of the country. They're not allowed to get out of that country. Like when am I going to see them again? You know, these, these are real questions that I ask myself and I have never been in that situation before. Take your little notebooks and I really want you to take a few minutes, pause the video if you want to and write down how have your priorities change what was important to you before isolation before lockdown and what is actually important to you right now because of the lockdown we are limited in what we are allowed to do what we're able to do what is permitted to do yeah for some of us it can emphasize uh, something that we really really enjoyed doing and that perhaps we didn't give enough energy i love traveling and i already knew that before the lockdown but the fact that i'm not allowed to travel i'm not allowed to go where i want to go that i'm not allowed to move freely i was going to go to mauritius as a matter of fact yesterday i was supposed to fly to mauritius for two weeks you know i was supposed to go to morocco beginning of may then mexico end of may seriously i'm just like oh my god this is bad, this is, really, this is really bad. Like, I don't care about my cappuccino anymore. Screw the cappuccino, I, you know, I don't need it. I want to travel. I want you to take stock of that stuff as well. The things that perhaps you're now stuck indoors and you think of, oh man, you know, I really miss doing this. I really miss doing that. Or I really miss this person who now all of a sudden becomes really important. Oh, I didn't give that person, you know, all the energy that I that I that I would have loved to. And now I'm stuck indoors and I and I think a lot about this person. It's very interesting to see how unnecessary things and people have disappeared from our lives since the lockdown. Like I can tell you already there's a lot less people that I that I talk to. And the people that I talk to are the ones that are most important to me. That's just how it is. Take a few minutes and write down what are you really missing? 
you know what what is being emphasized to you through this lockdown that you really miss and that you really love it could be something an activity uh, an item an object a person you know what is it there's a lot of things that we could have clearly lived without even before the lockdown and that we are living without right now and we're not really feeling as if we're missing anything and that can be people again that can be things that can be activities services uh, items that we buy like my cappuccino for example so i invite you to again take your notebook and write down all those things that have kind of like fallen off things that you're not even thinking about anymore things that you know are just not important at all anymore take stock of these seemingly invisible things or people that now just are not important in your life or not necessary which now brings me to point number three thanks for sticking up this is the moment where i want you to think about reinventing your life yeah i want you to take into consideration everything that we've said so far pause the video write down all the things that you would love to create like what if some what if the new reality that comes into place after uh, the lockdown is a reality where i'm not allowed to travel you know and I, i i can tell you the pain the pain that i felt in my heart just thinking about that. That's when I realized well, traveling is so important to me. So, so, so important to me. I, I couldn't live my life without it. I knew that travel was important to me before, but this particular situation really emphasized it and made it even more important. Coming from now, yeah, having established everything that we've established in point one and point two, I want you to really ask yourself from the bottom of your heart, honestly, what is it that you would love to do in your life what direction would you really love to take a dream that you had um, comes up for you now and is ever more present now that we are in lockdown you know what is that dream based on these newly found priorities you're now able to let go of how life was before the lockdown and you have now an understanding of actually you know what this and that was not important to me but this whole situation this whole experience has made me realize that this is what's really important to me or this person is who's really important to me or that is my true passion or this is my dream so now you're able to shift your focus towards what you truly want to create some very sad dramatic or traumatic events in our lives really have the power to make us realize what is it that we truly long for what is it that we truly want to do i believe i know that every breakdown is an opportunity for a breakthrough and covid19 is a breakdown a breakdown of structures a breakdown of how we thought our our own life was what we thought we were up to in life or the things that we thought we wanted to do in life it's an amazing opportunity to rethink that yeah and really start asking yourself um the right questions the the true questions my fiance was saying the other day um never let a good crisis go to waste i would really love to be location free and that's where i started and somewhere along the way i got distracted you see and so this lockdown has really brought back this goal of mine to the surface it's really brought it back to uh to the the level of priority that it had for me in my life this is what i mean when i say uh you know don't let a good crisis go to waste this was a crisis i was scared i'm still a bit scared to be very honest it's kind of like an emotional roller coaster so you know, I'm not saying that by doing this, these little exercises, you're just gonna, you know, uh, rock the lockdown. Someday I'm good, someday I'm not that good, and it's, and it's cool. But what is it that I would love to create? Be location free, all right, focus on that. Right now I can't travel, yes, fine, but there are other things that I can start preparing 
so now let's go and do that anyways guys i hope you enjoyed this video um and uh please do leave your comments do tell me uh, what's going on for you? What did you learn from this video? Was it helpful? And if there's any other topics that you would like me to address, uh, whether that's about the lockdown or life coaching in general. If you're looking for some inspiration, I've got loads of video interviews that I have done with very inspiring women from very diverse backgrounds. And the one thing they have in common is that they're all living their purpose. So check out those videos and get your doses of inspiration and don't forget to like share subscribe and have a good lockdown